Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. You guys have been wanting to know how to get traffic to your offers and things like that. I'm just going to go over a lot of things that should be able to help you guys on understanding how to get way more traffic uh, to, to offers and things like that, guys. So pay close attention, all right? So a lot of this stuff is very simple. I think you guys just need to, you know, take a little more time researching and, and actually sitting down and thinking because a lot of the stuff you guys are asking me is like, it's small. And it's like, okay, if you just think a little bigger, you know, then you'll, you'll be able to get, you know, more traffic. So I'll explain a few things here. So right now I'm on the YouTube training page, right? The YouTube training page. So normally, you know, once a day you guys can just come through here uh and just find out what's trending right what are people looking at as you can see chloe kardashian as a new mom shows off her baby routine right you could take this video put it on the page and post it somewhere guys and in order for them to see it they'll have to unlock it i'll explain this stuff later but as you can see 4.6 million views in one day uh by vogue magazine so this is hot trending all around the internet right everybody loves beyonce correct so it's like 9.7 million views in one day. Same things with this, guys. You got to start thinking, how can I start promoting to people without looking like I'm trying to sell something or looking like I'm trying to, you know, do something uh, with them? Or, you know, how can I, you know, put something out there that people are like, oh, no, he's trying to, you know, sell me something or, you know, something like that. So post normal things lock normal things and post those as normal things and i'll explain a little bit more here but like i said it's it's all kind of different stuff right certain stuff you know people will look at certain stuff not uh julian newman's a pretty hot topic he's a, a younger guy's a basketball player that's you know he's getting up there uh in the ranks and it's just all kinds of stuff right so then we go over here to facebook right and so let me show you guys something this right here okay so i'm in a facebook group called the marriage club right and it's just a bunch of married people and they post married stuff all day right and people love it as you can see the engagement 8.5 uh thousand views right eight thousand views i mean eight thousand likes right 300 and some plus comments and 468 shares right so imagine if this was a content locker guys imagine right so what i mean by post normal stuff look at the title this husband and wife team up and purchase a retail strip center people are like wow let me check that out my wife actually read this earlier and i was like man that would have been a great content locker so you click it and it's a vlog i mean a blog right and then they just go over you know what they did to achieve it so for instance this could be a locker right but this is someone's email uh, uh box but for instance, that could have been the locker right here in order for them to see, you know, bingo. So it just goes over their story on what they did, how they did it. And whoever made this blog is very smart. They also added uh, Google AdSense ads all over the place. So they're going to be getting paid for that. Uh, and that's very smart. So even if you didn't do content locker, just another nugget, you could just load your blog up. And as you can see, all of these shares across social media, 141,000 shares total this actual blog post all around social media. So that's that's insane. They're probably making some really good money off of this. But yeah, it just pretty much goes over their story and what they did and how they were able to do it. Uh, and then you got a comment section and stuff like that. So that's a good, this is, will be amazing to lock and share on social media. Guys, that's what I mean by sharing normal, normal things, right? The girl didn't put much, she's put goals and married life, right? And people are going to click on that because they're curious, right? And so look at, let me go to the shade room, right? I told someone about the shade room the other day, and they I don't think they knew exactly what I was talking about. So let me explain here. The shade room is kind of just like uh, hip-hop news. Uh, yeah, pretty much hip-hop news, right? It's kind of like a TMZ. And... Uh, all they do is share articles and, and celebrity news and all that all day. And so when you're looking at locking content, guys, lock things that people are going to be intrigued by. So everybody may not be, everybody may not look at a, a Target, you know, offer and be like, I don't really shop at Target or I don't really want an iPhone or I don't want Minecraft. I don't really play games. Right. But 
the people on your timeline will look at something like this because it just looks normal, right? It said Morehouse College Dean placed on administrative leave for sexual assault. People are curious, like, what? Let me check that out. As you can see, 94 shares. Now, if you start to get people to share your content, then you're going to start going viral and you're going to start getting a lot more traffic, right? And, and that's all they do. They go down here and they just share a bunch of different articles, right? Bags and deals continue to be secured. Jordan Spark stars and Rick Ross latest music video, right? So doing things like this, like I said, you can see the engagement on it, right? So just imagine if all this stuff was locked content and this is all they share all day is just a bunch of different blogs. Uh, Puerto Rico uh, protesters are calling for governor's uh, resignation after a corrupt message. So things like this, guys, as you can see, right? Anything with Donald Trump, people are going to click on trying to figure out what's going on. You add Kanye West and it's like, OK, what are they talking about? Let me see what, what's going on. Right. You can see the engagement. So just imagine if all of this stuff was locked. And you will be getting paid what a dollar, two, three dollars off of everybody who comes through who wants to, you know, check out the articles, right? And uh, and I told you guys, if you use lead pages, you can get it to post to where it looks like this. And I think Weebly and Wix may be able to do that as well. Uh, but you can customize all this to make it look exactly like this once they click on it, and uh, that'll help you guys out. Uh, another page you guys can follow if you want to keep up with stuff. Uh, well, another thing you guys know that's viral is the whole face app where everybody's changing themselves into old people, right? Uh, that If you would have caught that wave as soon as it started to hit, as soon as you started seeing people catch on to it, uh, you could have locked the app and posted on Facebook. Hey, here's an app uh, you know that people are using because there was a lot of, as I was reading, there was a lot of people that didn't know where to get the app at. They was like, what app is that? Because they thought it was Snapchat or Filter and they was like, I can't find it. Uh, and then if you would have just posted, you know, the app, a lot of people would have went to it. But some stuff you just got to kind of catch really early. And that would have been a lot of money right there, guys. So it's about catching those those uh, trends and things. So let me see if he if he posts anything like that. Because, yeah, bingo right here. So a lot of people post these kind of different articles and, and it looks it doesn't look scammy. It doesn't look like anything that someone would normally click on on social media, because that's what a lot of people on there. They're, you know, a lot of people watch Love and Hip Hop. Uh, especially on my timeline, a lot of people overseas, whatever, you know, is in your country that, that, that a lot of people watch or a lot of people look at, then you'll kind of know, just kind of pay attention to your timeline on Instagram or whatever, and you'll kind of figure out what people are sharing a lot of. But like, for instance, something like this, uh, it says, Love and Hip Hop, Ray J and Princess, uh, Pregnant with Baby Number 2, exclusive pics. So something like this, they're like, oh, I want to see, you know, what the new baby looks like. They would click here, and this could be a content locker right this entire thing and if they want to see the pictures they would have to go through the locker and then they would be able to go to you know different pages and things like that to be able to check out uh whatever it is and they're going to keep leading you through uh but that that's another way that that could be done right and uh let's see if i can find another page oh the same thing with red table talk uh, I'm just telling you guys about a lot of stuff that a lot of people on my timeline share uh, Jada Pinkett Smith has the red table talk on Facebook uh, and she shares just a lot of catchy topics like that make you want to click on it, right? So she would do, you know, should white people adopt black kids? Uh, people would be like, oh, I want to check that out. So you could, you know, use that video on a, a blog post or whatever and post it on Facebook, right? People are going to click it because it's normal stuff. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? It's normal stuff. It's not something that you'll look at and be like, ah, I'm not going to click on that because they're probably trying to sell me something, right? It's just normal stuff that people are like, oh, okay, I know Jada Pinkett. Let me click on and see what this is about. Or like, you know, things like this, children forced into marriage. Uh, she has a lot of catchy topics on here, right? Does uh, porn ruin relationships, molested as a young boy, uh, just all kinds of just topics. And they talk about these things. So like I said, you can grab certain things and uh, put them on a, a web page and lock it up, post it on Facebook with the same title. It's very catchy. People will click on it, want to see it. They'll go through the locker. You'll get paid. They'll unlock the content. And it's it's that simple, right? So when I was telling you guys, start thinking a little bit more outside of the box other than the offers, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh, well, I've been trying some of the offers and they're not working or they're, they're not converting for me. Uh, when you want to lock content, just lock things that everybody wants to see. So kind of follow news pages or TMZ. TMZ would be great, uh, a great uh, platform to follow because I'm sure they share a lot of... Uh, content 
right? And so this will be another one. See right here. That's all they share is articles all down their timeline. These could all be content lockers, right? In a sense, like literally, they could all be some form of content locking. And that's all they do. Article after article after article. A couple of videos, more articles. You guys see what I'm saying? So this is just things that are going to put people's guard down whenever you're promoting a CPA offer uh, or you're just wanting to lock certain content uh, and things like that right and so another uh, thing that you guys could do on, well another page you guys could look at real quick is DeLorean a lot of people probably know him from MCA a long time ago when you know <laughs> had those running with a couple of people but uh, he has a pretty big page on here it's like 4.9 million uh, he does a lot of he does a lot of these articles too but he actually gets paid for these articles because he has a, such a big following that people actually you know sponsor certain things but as you can see they have catchy titles right white woman tells black tender date that she doesn't like black play going to black places or whatever people will click on that like what so they'll want to check that out but another thing you guys could do like i was telling you in a couple of videos before is you could go to solo ad testimonials now this will cost this is kind of on the cost budget if you guys want to check this out but like i like solo ad testimonials because uh these people kind of they'll post their results you know they'll show you know for instance uh, they will see the type of traffic they got was mixed clicks. Uh, you know, the clicks order they they bought three thousand. They received you know a little more. Uh, they got a couple sales. Uh, their opt-in rate was great. And then if you get people and some people in here will let you know, hey, this guy didn't deliver anything. Don't go to him. So uh, this is a pretty good thing. But this is when you guys start making money later on. You can come to something like this. All right. So let's move on to Pinterest. All right, bingo. So we're on Pinterest now. And for instance, if you guys get on Pinterest, you can create a lot of different uh, boards. And what do I mean by that? You can create a lot of different things, whether it be, you know, for instance, right here, you know, vacation nails, palm tree nails. They got a bunch of different categories and things like that uh, that they do on here. But you can do, you know, investing, wealth, cars, uh, wedding photos, things like that. People will get on Pinterest all the time, look up recipes and all that kind of stuff right and you can continue to do that and then let me show you guys an example if I can find the ones bingo so I'll click on this one right as soon as you click on it notice that it has a link to someone's Instagram right and they say hey uh, you are uh, I mean hey you are another tutorial I said hey I'm tripping y'all it says here you are my bad y'all uh, another tutorial of how I achieve my uh, the marble work enjoy and then it has the you know the DM for the purchase so either they're gonna purchase the tutorial mm -hmm. on how to do this but they do have the link to the guy's Instagram and if I click it I wonder if he has a link to to any of his uh, work or whatever so yeah turn on your notifications and all that so he, he may go there and you may be able to buy certain things uh, from him based off of that but what I'm saying is you guys could use things like this right and and link it to your pages right to your uh, content lockers right and you can continue to do that now as far as this one same thing as far as you know weddings right a lot of people look up uh, different wedding ideas so if you put in wedding ideas uh, you'll be able to find a bunch of different you know people that are searching for certain things right uh, so they might be looking for different photos and things like that and you guys could you know load your pages up with a bunch of different things add a content locker to it right a lot of these usually has websites that tie to it so that one when I clicked it it went straight to a website right and you can do the same thing with whatever you're trying to lock as far as Pinterest, right? You can, like if this one has a website link to it. So if I click this, the website's right here. So you guys can, you know, post, just think outside of the box and you will start to get a ton of traffic, right? Don't think network marketing tactics, right? Think normal stuff, right? Think normal. Like what are normal people enjoying and what are normal people looking for, uh, whether it's movies, uh, photos gossip whatever it is when you find out that normal stuff that's the stuff that's gonna make you a lot of money guys see that when I made money with the the Avengers movie it was normal 
right? People saw that the movie was online. They click. They're going to click it, right? But if you have a whole bunch of different, you know, hey, uh, get you a free iPhone today. Most people are like, ah, that kind of sounds a little weird. I don't think they're going to get away a free iPhone or I don't really need a Target gift card. You know what I mean? So when you think normal stuff, you're going to get a lot more traffic. Uh, and you'll you guys start to see the results in that, right? So let me click off of this one and let's go to Instagram. Now, for instance, on Instagram, guys, you can talk to a bunch of different people as far as uh, influencers. And what I mean by influencers, people who have a, a big following and, and uh, a lot of people, you know, follow them and know them and engage with their content, right? And so, for instance, I went to my first wig. Now, I uh, a lot of the women... Uh, love this kind of stuff, you know, with hair, nails, and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm showing a lot of it because a lot of a lot of traffic, you can get a lot of traffic out of these uh, these pages, right? And so for somebody like this, I clicked on this because she had a coupon uh, for B Day is the uh, the name of the coupon for you to get a 12 percent off uh, plus a free wig kit, guys. So you look at stuff like this and you're like, okay. So you can hit her up and say, hey, you know, do you mind if I, you know, shared your website with a few people, uh, you know, to help you promote some of your, you know, some of your stuff. And I'm pretty sure they'll be like, oh, no, no problem. Yeah, go ahead and share it and let people know. So what you can do is click on her website, right? And I'm pretty sure this is a nice website since she's running a special, right? If you're a lady, now, if you're a guy, you probably, you may not want to post this, but uh, some of the women may want to post something like this, right? You can take, you know, of course, content like this website and say, hey, you know, if you guys use this, you know, promo code, you'll get 12% off any wig on the site. Plus, you'll get a free, you know, kit with it. And, you know, a lot of women may run to this, right? And this is, I think she has like a, a pretty big YouTube channel and things like that. A couple of these girls do. So when people see stuff like this, they're going to be like, oh, okay, well, let me check this out bingo you know they go through the locker then they go through you know whatever process they'll get you know a discount or whatever and you'll get paid so that's normal that's the kind of normal stuff that i'm talking about uh, another page um things that you know you guys giving you an example and you just kind of have to find out what city or state you're in and what's you know popping for your you know your timeline and what do you see most a lot of right once you start to see a lot of it everything you're going to look at is going to be like i can lock that i can content lock that i can make money off of that like everything you see is going to start to pop up to you like that right anything trendy that comes out is going to be like oh let me find out how i can hurry up and capitalize off of that right and so this is a girl by the name of diera and a lot of you may know who this is a lot of you may not uh her and her fiance ken right or like big youtubers they you know got famous off instagram just for being a couple and they now have a huge youtube channel and things like that and so she gets tons of engagement as you guys can see 200 and some thousand likes uh 200 i mean 2000 something comments right and so for instance like with something like this you can content contact her and you can you know ask how much does she charge for promo or just anybody or any influencer you can ask them you know Hey, how much do you charge for promo? So normally, uh, a lot of these people will contact you back with a list, and they'll, you know, uh, let you know how much they charge, and, and they won't keep it on there all day. They will not. They will only post it uh, for around probably like an hour or two. But they get a lot of engagement early. So uh, a smart thing to do would just be you could contact her and say, Hey, you know, uh, do you have uh, uh, any merch or anything like that, or just create something for her right you can create a shirt or something like that for her or create some type of design using a teespring or something like that and say hey you know do you mind how much do you charge for promo she'll let you know you say hey i have this shirt you know uh you can tell you y'all can split profits or however that works could you post it they will go to it they can you know you know they'll lock you can lock it it could be at a discount or whatever and you guys can you know split profits that way and you can contact a lot of people because a lot of these people since they have such a big following they don't mind you know doing a lot of uh, influencer marketing and promo and things like that uh, and it works so this will kind of help you guys think outside of the box right and other than that I think guys that's pretty much it as far as uh, everything goes guys just continue to uh, real real quick look at this so this is you know is the face app challenge safe right 
So this clearly would have got a lot of attention because I remember seeing an article and they said something about people who were doing the face app challenge were giving the Russians access to their identity, something like that. So if you would have content locked some of that, and why, why everybody was, you know, constantly using the face app, right? And you would have posted like, uh, you know, face app challenge, uh, you know, reporters say that this is another way for the Russians to steal your identity or something. People would have clicked on that like crazy, right? And, and you would have capitalized big time because people were like, whoa, I just did it. Like, what is this article talking about? And so, you know, just giving you guys a heads up. But that's how you get tons of traffic, a lot of different traffic uh, ways and things like that, guys. But hopefully that helped. If it did, comment below. Uh, let me know what other videos you guys are wanting to see. And, yeah, all my information, everything is below. Contact your boy. And I will see you guys in another video. Peace.